Welcome back to Martin Weiner Productions, everyone. Today, we're taking car camping to a whole new level of comfort. I'm gonna show you how to set up our little campsite, and we're gonna be running with our generator, we're gonna be running with our heat, we're gonna be running with our sleeping pad, our cookware setup, and we're just overall gonna be having a really good time in a comfortable space in order for us to camp out. Right now, it's September, and so the temperatures are a little cooler during the night, sometimes in the 40s. So what we wanna do is have a space that we can camp and be comfortable, but also not rained on, and yet be warm enough as well. I love camping alone. Okay, how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. First things first, let's set up camp. I've got everything I need right here in the back of my car. Here's our four stars to make our car camping fun today. We've got this big old generator, and by big I mean small. That's what she said. Next, our sleeping pad. The thought was way cooler in my head. Our little heater that I'm gonna hook up and keep us warm at night. I showed you guys this on a prior video, so we're gonna be able to put it to use. And this right here is my Whoopi. You can get these in a military sleep system. This is the green version. Because of the temperature I'm gonna be keeping the car at, this should be fine. In order to set up this little guy, we need to make sure that the exhaust and ventilation is going away from the car. And currently, the wind is blowing in my face, so I think that's what we're looking for. We're about 10, 15 feet away from the car, so. Turn on the gas. We're gonna choke her a little bit. And uh, we're gonna make sure it's on. Give it a little shake. And it should start right up. Well, not quite. Let's try again. We'll choke her a little bit. All right, next things first makes sense. We're going to go ahead and put the seat down. That's going to allow us to roll that mat out. And now we're going to blow up this mattress like... All right, we're looking pretty good here. This is the Coleman burner. I'm a huge fan of this one. It's much cheaper than any other one on the market, it works just as good. I'm actually afraid it's gonna start raining here and it's almost time for bed, really. I've already eaten dinner and I'm just gonna make myself some nice peppermint tea and off to bed I go. So let's go ahead and give a little test on how long it takes for this Coleman burner to boil water. It's a little sketchy. You definitely wanna make sure you have it on a real flat, secure surface. So we're gonna go ahead and fill it up. Uh, only about 12 ounces of tea. I don't want that much tea. I'm probably gonna have to hold it for the duration, but that's fine. I don't, I don't mind. I'm just trying to boil water with this. I'm not trying to make a, a whole meal here. So, let's see if we can get it in the picture. All we have to do is turn it on, light her up. Very nice. So we've lit it up. Let's go ahead and start a stopwatch and go. Try not to rock the car too much. Coming up on two minutes. That's a pretty long time for some people. That's what she said. Let's see what we got. Not quite yet. All right, we're coming up on four minutes. Let's kind of take a peek here and we should be close. Oh yes. Five minutes seems pretty standard to me as far as this kind of stuff being made. Let's take a look. All right, we're, we got a rolling boil. That's five minutes. It's tough to see. Let's back it up. We got a rolling boil in five minutes. Excellent. So we're gonna steep our tea and drink it from there. One of the really neat things I like about this Stanley and having a tall neck like that is I can stick it down in there and I can capture it right there so it can steep all by itself. All right, let's give a real brief setup about how this heater works. I got my generator far away from the car. 
We've got some windows open. We've got a window open in the back. I've got it hooked up to this right here, which is a thermostat. That's the thermostat. And when it gets to a certain temperature, it kicks it on. And I stuff it right in between the window right there. So when it's ready to turn on, it turns on. So we're gonna go ahead and set that up and get ready for bed. Next 30 minutes, sun's gonna be down. So we're having some issues with the idle screw. We're gonna have to tweak it, fix it. engines is they're very temperamental so sometimes you got to modify the carburetor to make it run better especially in cold weather warm weather there's a difference so let's go ahead and see if this thing shuts off once the car warms up to the proper temperature and while we wait we're gonna enjoy our wonderful peppermint enjoying our peppermint tea okay guys it's like 730 right now it's really warm in here I'm loving it it's heating up, it's, well it's heated up. I really appreciate everything guys. Uh, it's, it's like 7.30, 7.45 at the moment. There's a nice breeze outside, uh, but it is dark out. So I'm just gonna lock it up and go to bed. If you guys like what you see, $1 a month make you holler on my Patreon. I really appreciate the support everyone. Uh, thank you guys so much and uh, have a great day.